When you're new to this industry of architectural hardware, commercial doors, and access control, and especially if you're new to the construction industry, the process of how products get from a manufacturer to an opening can be confusing. In this video, we will describe their organizations who often play a part in the selection, installation, and maintenance of openings in non-residential buildings. To learn more about the new construction process, check out these two Intro to Door Hardware videos, Intro to the Design Bid Build Process, and Intro to Three Project Delivery Processes. First, we need to make one pretty big disclaimer. For every description of an organization in this video, in the real world, you will encounter exceptions. Many organizations have broadened their capabilities to serve multiple functions in the construction arena. Other organizations choose to specialize in their services. Part of the fun in working in architectural hardware, commercial doors, and access control is its complexity and evolving nature. We will describe every organization as serving one of these five primary functions. Own, design, install, supply, and make. As to the own function, building owners typically fall into one of these two categories. The entity that owns the building occupies the building. The entity that a private company or a public institution or some variation thereof. Examples include K-12 schools, universities, hospitals, and churches. These owners are often referred to as end users. Or the entity that owns the building leases the building to a tenant or tenants. Many commercial real estate companies lease office space, industrial space, and multifamily units to tenants. Since these companies typically may only occupy a small part, if any, of the building, their tenants are the end users for most of the openings. As to the design function, hired by the owner, architectural firms are typically responsible for the design of new buildings and for major remodeling projects. For such projects, to determine the door hardware selections, architects often work with specification writers who specialize in door openings. These spec writers may be employed by other companies in this construction process. Interior design professionals also play an important role in the design, personality, and performance of many buildings. They can influence the selection of products used on openings throughout the life of the building. Engineering and security firms may be retained to design the building's physical security. Along with access control, these firms address all aspects of physical security, including such elements as exterior lighting, fencing, gates, visitor procedures, delivery procedures, intrusion detection systems, etc. As to the install function, for new buildings and many big remodeling projects, general contractors, GCs, are hired by owners to be responsible for all aspects of construction. GCs often hire subcontractors to do some or lots of the installation of doors and hardware, but ultimately the GC is responsible for the construction project and therefore for the installation of doors and hardware. Likewise, for new buildings and big remodeling projects, construction management, or CM firms, may be hired by owners. For more on their role, please watch the video on the three project delivery processes we mentioned earlier. For existing buildings, commercial locksmiths are often hired to install and maintain a facility's doors and hardware. Because of their expertise, locksmiths may also play an important role in the selection of the hardware. By the way, you may hear the term institutional locksmiths. These individuals are employed by end-user organizations, such as a university. Security integrators are companies who specialize in access control systems, including their selection, installation, and maintenance. Integrators may be involved in new construction projects. Many also service the access control needs of a facility over a span of several years. Glazers are companies who install glass storefronts. Yes, glass storefronts are just what you think the term means. The front of many commercial buildings are designed with lots of glass and aluminum framing. As to the supply function, sometimes referred to as the channel, for new construction projects, contract hardware distributors, CHDs, supply the doors and hardware, and sometimes the access control products. CHDs submit bids to the project's GC, who then awards the contract to a CHD. The CHD prepares a finished hardware schedule that details exactly what items are needed purchases those items from multiple manufacturers, and coordinates their delivery to the construction site. Wholesalers also play an important role. They stock a wide selection of products, selling to a lot of different companies who then resell the products to end users. Often, organizations buy from wholesalers because they do not have a direct purchasing relationship with a manufacturer. Sometimes, companies buy from wholesalers because they need something faster than what the manufacturer can provide. 
There are wholesalers who specialize in supporting the needs of new construction projects, often selling to CHDs. Other wholesalers specialize in serving the aftermarket, that is, work that is done after a building is up and running. Both commercial and institutional locksmiths frequently purchase from these wholesalers. And finally, there are wholesalers who specialize in electronic products and components, often selling to integrators. The third type of supplier are catalog houses, sometimes referred to as MRO houses, as in maintenance, repair, and operations. These companies serve end users, offering just about everything a typical non-residential facility needs to keep a building running, from plumbing supplies to janitorial equipment. As to the make function, manufacturers typically both design and produce the products that go on and around an opening. Often, manufacturers such as Allegiant offer a wide portfolio of brands and products. In the U.S. and Canada, most manufacturers do not sell direct to building owners, but rather sell to the supply companies we just described. PACs, or Physical Access Control Systems, are companies who design access control software, programming their software to communicate with electronic locks, card readers, video surveillance systems, etc. Some software houses go beyond access control, integrating their software with applications such as food services at universities. Most sell their software solutions through integrators, often partnering with integrators to ensure the access control system and its hardware components are installed and set up to meet the end user's needs. You may also hear the term Original Equipment Manufacturer, or OEM. An OEM is a company that makes products using some component parts purchased from other companies. For example, there are aluminum storefront manufacturers that purchase hardware from Allegiant, then install that hardware on their doors and frames before selling the storefronts to a GC. Wow, we just covered a lot and we barely touched the surface. As you grow in this industry, seek to learn more about these organizations, including what's important to them, what their employees do, what market areas they serve, who their customers are, what services they provide to their customers, and why they choose the vendors they do. Enjoy the company you keep. To watch more videos, go to the training page at www.allegion.com/us.